Welcome to this episode of Dog One News. I'm Dylan. And I'm Christian. Heard that senior cross country runner Taylor Harold was interviewed by a sports magazine this week. Sarah caught him with her to ask her a few questions about it. This is Sarah Van Buren with Dog One News, and I'm here with cross, co cross country runner Taylor Harold. So, Taylor, I heard you were interviewed for, for a magazine recently. Yes, I was. I was interviewed for The Light magazine. And what did he ask you about? Um, he asked me about how the team was doing and how he, she thought that we would place at state and how many miles I ran and how I was doing overall in all the meets that we ran this year. So how is that experience getting interviewed for a magazine? Um, it's a really good experience. It makes me feel like people know what I'm doing and that I have a better shot at running for a college. All right, well, thank you for your interview. Congratulations on the interview, Taylor. That was so enthusiastic. This week is Spirit Week for Homecoming. We're keeping it. And I also have a powder puff football game. Kaylee, myself, and Christian caught up with Caitlin and Katie May to talk about the Dynasty Day in the football game. So how do you feel about playing the seniors in the powder puff game tonight? Y'all are going down. Let's just get that straight right now. I felt really good about it. I felt like... Why? Because we're going to win. Okay. Do you have anybody in particular that you want to take down? Uh, mainly Ashley Kelly, Brooke Grimes, Kaylin Smith. Brooke Grimes? Yeah. She's little. Yeah, I know. But she always tries to talk to me in the hallway. And she punched me. I would show you the blues, but okay. she's going to get hurt. Okay. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. Heard the sophomores won the whole thing, defeating the juniors in the championship. That's what you get, Katie Man Kaylin! Yeah. Miss Malat's English class is doing a project over Shakespeare. Melissa and Alex caught up with her to talk about it. Hi, I'm Melissa and I'm here with Miss Malat. So I hear y'all are acting out literature. What is it about? We're acting out scenes from Great Expectations and what they learned is 18, uh, etiquette in the 1800s and how they should eat and how they should dance and what is appropriate. And how does this help y'all? It helps them understand that period of time because they have to understand that period, to under, that period of time to understand the literature and it also shows them that lit, reading is not just sitting around reading a book, you get up and you interact with it. And is there anything else you would like to tell us about it? Um, no, not at this moment. Okay, thank you. Thank you for talking to us. Back to you at the desk. Okay, you all came here to learn how to dance proper editing. So first is learning to curtsy and roll pass. So go ahead and try. As everyone knows, this is homecoming week. Sarah and Michelle got some footage of the flows to see how they're coming along for the parade. Okay, Sarah, float making for homecoming week. Okay. Thanks for watching this episode of Dog One News. Seniors 2014, turn up. Stay breezy.